Let us come together before God in prayer. Let us pray. Creator God, as we draw ever nearer to Pentecost, we remember that in the beginning the earth was formless and empty, and that darkness was over the surface of the deep. But we remember too that you were present and your creative spirit was on the starting line, ready to go. And so we praise you that out of nothing you brought everything into being and that through your spirit we have order and not chaotic nothingness. As we lift our gaze to the stars and as we marvel at the beauty of the delicate spring flowers, with thankful hearts we rejoice in all that is and in all that you have given. But we acknowledge the darkness of our own lives and our need for the light of Christ, ministered by the Spirit. Forgive us, we pray, for our self-centeredness, our fractiousness, our greed, and all that goes against your will for our lives. For a healing touch, we pray, and for a deep sense of assurance that your love for us made known in Jesus is sufficient in the days to come. So grant us an inner hunger for deeper communion with you and that we might delight all the more in your living word. Might we be like trees planted by streams of water which yield fruit in season. These and all our prayers are offered through Jesus' name who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Is there anyone else here who feels helpless at the news coming out from Israel and Gaza? I've been watching along this week, shocked at what's going on and praying for peace in a region that hasn't really ever known peace. I wanted to include a short reflection here on that conflict, but that would be impossible to reduce down to the time constraints of this service. So instead, I'd like to share a prayer from the Church of Scotland for peace in the Middle East. <coughs> Let us come together in prayer. God of justice, Bless those who work for peace through justice. Strengthen the resolve in the face of seemingly endless violence. Guide the leaders of the people in the Middle East to know your will and to support a just peace for all your children. God of love, lifting up the holy land for all humankind. Breathe love and compassion into our prayers with a desire for nothing other than peace. Peace in our hearts, peace for all creation and especially peace in the land that's called holy. God of hope, we lift up the city of Jerusalem. Distracted and divided, yet still with, filled with promise as all the cities of the world. So come again into our cities, our places of worship, our upper rooms and Gethsemanes, that we may be given the sight to recognise you. God of mercy, as we long to understand that which is beyond our comprehension, we lay before you the hearts and minds and bodies 
of all those from suffering from conflict in Palestine and Israel and from the ongoing occupation. Shower upon all people of the Holy Land the spirit of justice and reconciliation. God of all nations, give to our people the blessings of well-being, freedom and harmony. And above all things, give us faith in you that we might be strengthened to care for all those in need until the coming of your Son, our Saviour and Lord. Amen.